some girls now they have issues with their sex life and people don't usually talk about it and when they see the right person that does it in a way that they like you wouldn't want to walk away easily hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so my name is mary badmos let me give you one minute to subscribe <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. So today I have two badges. My right is Moretta. The person here is Dami. And we're going to talking about dating. Some young people see dating as an avenue for money. Young people in their twenties. Yes, us. Are you actually in support of that? Eighty percent, yes. Because generally, it's not all ladies, but eighty percent of the ladies they see dating as financial support <laughs> it is wrong if you are going into a relationship and see it as um, a way to make income it's very wrong i wouldn't do that but a man that says he loves a girl shouldn't be told what to do hey. you can't be in a relationship and tell me that you can't spend money on me that is that that is nothing but that doesn't mean I'm making an income. I'm sharing my time with you. I'll basically be making my own money, money but exactly. at least. So I feel like men, you don't tell men what to do, you are how you to treat to you. So how do you perceive dating? What do you feel <laughs> dating is generally? So to me, dating is a relationship between two individuals. I feel like dating is getting to know each other. It might not be something serious. It might be something serious, depending on how you guys um define the at what point would you know that this person they are dating i think this person is the right person for me to get married to don't think you will just say this is the point yeah okay no i'm ready for marriage depends on the situation with between you and your partner that will lead to okay if he's ready he can take care of me he can do this he can do that you know that sometimes it is pregnancy that leads to marriage hmm, sometimes that's, 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 yes that's, and then another thing again some girls believe that oh my man has taken me to his family. I already know his mother. I know his father. I know every member of his family. Yeah. He's going to marry me. Which it's the total lie. Though not all. 90% of if not most of the guys, they don't voice out how they feel. So it takes a real woman to know when he's her man is actually going through a phase and we have to stay there stick there and understand do you understand yes financially emotionally every way like we are this was, some guys can actually be assisting financially and their life is messed up most time and most ladies don't know so it takes a real man that looks into like you know the kind of person you are with you know his mood you know that okay the money is there but there's something wrong there's something there but there's something wrong there's something eating him up there's something something happening to you if a lady cares so much about every aspect of your life whether you are giving her the money or not and she still wants to know because most time some girls once they get the money they don't care they feel you are okay because you're giving them the money because it's only when you are broke they'll be like oh my boyfriend is broke he can't give me money now they feel that's the only problem men have which is very wrong some guys are going through a lot some guys commit suicide and you'll be like what happened because they can't talk to anybody and you feel like it's only when they are broke they have issues some guys have the money but they're not even okay so if a girl can give a man peace can be his calm when his life is messed up i think he would definitely want to be with that girl at what point would you know like how long would you date someone that you need to figure out oh i'm wasting time with this person yes, um, so to me i feel that when your partner start giving unreasonable excuses that you'll be surprised that eh did you start like when did all this start exactly if a guy is not meant for you you know guys don't really know how to hide their yeah, red right. flag he just chose to ignore it i don't believe in he wasn't like this he, he was, was like you closed your eyes to it because you wanted to work you wanted him i still feel i still feel that's a that's a different thing but i still feel at a point you will see once or twice his real personality some girls now they have issues with their sex life and people don't usually talk about it and when they see the right person that does it in a way that they like you wouldn't want to walk away easily because you feel like where will i meet this person that will make me feel this way you already know you're supposed to walk out of that relationship but because you see something you are benefiting from you wouldn't want to go until you see that there is no yeah. way out that this person is not for you and the better you live and start finding your soulmates the good for you at what point would you sense that you're actually not respected in this relationship the way he talks to me especially when he's angry yeah. the way he speaks to me in front of people i just feel like him hurting you continuously knowing fully whether he's actually hurting you and not really caring whenever i'm in a relationship like this i love attention 
I, I really love attention. Like, I want my mom to call me, send text messages. I, to me, I think. That's your I don't know. <laughs> Never bring a third party here yeah. for a date. Consider, it's a Consider it's a the size of the yeah, man's pocket. Oh, like tagging a lot. Yes, tagging a lot. It's yeah. very, very bad. Yeah. I, I, I have to bring your friends. Exactly.